Hello, I'm of the opinion that I'm J.P. Sears. To kill your ego or to love your ego, that is the question. Some have the mindset that killing our ego somehow makes us more spiritual. We can free ourselves of this relative mind trap called the ego and then life will be bliss. Well, if that's the case, my question to you is, what part of you wants to do the murdering of your ego? What is your ego? Well, my ego's opinion of what the ego is, is it's my sense of self. It's not who I am, it's who I think I am. Uh, it's also my sense of separation. Can you actually kill your ego? It was a good question. This man's opinion, and I think I'm a man, uh, is can you ever erase your fingerprints off your hand? If we actually become so delusional to believe we don't have an ego anymore or that we can actually get rid of it, what if that's the trap that has us controlled by our ego more than anything else? What if we've actually just tricked ourselves where the ego tricks the more conscious part of us into no, no longer being self-aware of the ego. So that while we believe we're living free of the ego, we're actually living more under the ego's control. Deanna, I don't have an ego anymore. Wow. I'm very spiritual. What? Very spiritual. I said I'm very spiritual! So when we talk about get rid of my ego, what are we really talking about? My point of view is it's a shame-based perspective where our human self says it would be easier to live with myself if I were dead. So if it's a very shame-based uh, perspective of I want to kill my ego, does shame actually cure shame? Does shaming the shameful ego with death actually cure what ails the ego? Or is love and compassion the cure for shame? I personally, I celebrate my ego. It gives me a beautiful relative experience of life. It allows me to have opinions and judgments, and I love those. I just don't want to be a slave to my opinions and judgments. I want to have my opinions, I just don't want to believe them. I want to have my judgments, yet not buy into them. My ego's about to get really opinionated. Are you ready for it? When we try and escape our ego, our escape attempt actually drives us deeper into that which we're trying to escape, our ego. That which we resist will persist. It rhymes. So it's got to be true. I would challenge you to embark on a very committed, loving relationship with your ego. The parts of you that feel flawed, the parts of you that feel imperfect. What if our unlovable parts need our love more than any other parts of us. I'd invite you to consider these strategies for loving your ego. Strategy number one, learn about yourself. Learn about the unique fingerprint called you. There's great purpose to you. Strategy number two, be the participant and the observer of your life. See things through your ego, experience your judgments, and experience the highs and the lows of your life. And don't just experience them through the participant's view, but also observe them. Notice your ego. Language that works for me, I'll call my ego out. It helps me, it helps part of me stay in a position of the observer. So I'll say things like, I'm noticing my ego is really needy right now. Or I'm noticing my ego is really playful right now. A third strategy, have beliefs but I'd invite you to not believe your beliefs. In other words, have your ego's point of view. Just realize your ego's point of view is relatively true, not absolutely true. The fourth strategy, I'd invite you to know that you're delusional. Welcome to humankind. 
Uh, what if it's paradoxically true that the more we know we're delusional, the less delusional we become? The more we think we're not delusional, the more it magnifies how delusional we actually are. A fifth strategy, consider this, based on the opinion of part of my delusional ego, you are absolutely perfect just the way you imperfectly are. Thank you so much for joining me to consider how you can have more of a loving relationship with your ego. Please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. Feel free to, of course, share this with your friends and your enemies. And of course, you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. I've sounded really preachy on this video. I think my ego is trying to seduce your ego into seeing the world the way my ego does. Remember to think for yourself.